Hello everyone, perhaps each of us have gotten stuck in an elevator and know how unpleasant it is. The call button is crap, assistants cannot get there in time and to put the icing on the cake the frozen products treacherously start to melt. Not to mention the fact that some people suffer from particularly acute forms of claustrophobia. Well believe me there were situations. Ah, oh, this is not good. Sometimes people get stuck in the most unexpected places that you could never think of. Attention to the screen, please. ATM. At first glance, it might seem that this embarrassment that took place in Texas, America is a story about a failed crime. But this is not entirely true. In fact, an employee was stuck behind an ATM and was unable to get back without assistance. He wrote a note to each passerby and passed it to each visitor with a banknote. The text of the note said, Please help me, I am stuck and I have no mobile phone with me. Call my boss on this number. Alas, most of the ATM users decided that this was an ordinary street prank. and just walk past the poor worker. Just imagine how many of these notes the guy had to write in two hours. However, after some time, there was one not indifferent citizen who nonetheless called the police. Richard Alden, one of the police officers who came to the call, could not believe his eyes when he saw the note. But someone's voice could be heard clearly enough from the machine gun and then the officers had no doubt about the veracity of what happened. The door to the utility room was knocked down and the poor prisoner was released. It turned out that he was dealing with the back cover of the ATM inside the special room at the moment when the door slammed shut and left him no way to escape. Toy machine. Think back to a situation. When you were 10 years old, the coins in your back pocket are out and the claw from the toy machine seems to specifically release your price at the very last moment. Sometimes I really wanted to just break the glass and finally take the well-deserved reward. This one and a half year old toddler in Tennessee has found a better way in. While his grandmother was distracted for a couple of seconds to read the messages on her phone, he climbed right inside the huge machine through the hole for dispensing prizes. The grandmother, of course, was immediately horrified, worried that her grandson would get hurt. Fortunately, the rescuers arrived to her call very quickly. And the little prankster was even allowed to take one toy with him at will. Concrete mixer. Almost any construction work requires the use of concrete in one or another way. For its manufacture, a special device is required, a concrete mixer. Such a machine consists of a drum with blades and many other elements and helps the mixture quickly become high quality and homogeneous. But there's one caveat. Between uses, the mixtures must be cleaned of hardened concrete particles. The cleaning process can be different, chemical or mechanical. The first is the more expensive method. The worker uses special chemical solutions and in the second, improvised tools such as a shovel, hammer or a grinder with a mounted brush. Apparently, this is exactly what one unfortunate worker from the Chinese city of Hanze was doing. Unfortunately, at some point in his work, everything did not go according to plan and the man found himself in a dangerous trap right inside the drum of a concrete mixer. The rescuers had to tinker a lot to free him, but in the end, the man still got out of the trap and into the wild. The washing machine. You have probably seen how curious cats climbed into the drum of the washing machine. It turns out that these devices are no less dangerous for children, especially when it comes to a top-loading washing machine. Such an incident took place in the Chinese city of Shizushan. According to some reports, the two-year-old boy was playing hide-and-seek with his own mother and decided to hide in the washing machine. True, it was not possible to get it without the help of rescuers. Under the shrill screams of the kid, the rescuers who came to call had to gradually dismantle the entire washer to pull the boy out of the trap. The entire operation took place in complete darkness under the illumination of a flashlight. Why to tell the truth we do not understand. After the specialist cut open the ill-fated tank with scissors, the boy was finally out and unharmed. Alas, not all cases in China end well. According to statistics, about 200,000 children die from domestic accidents every year. 
chimney. Guys, stop telling your kids that Santa gets into our houses through the chimney. This is how it ends. Such things were written by people in the comments below this video. And really, getting into your home through the exhaust system is almost impossible. Unless you have some kind of magical ability. Chimneys are usually too narrow for a person to pass through. By the way, they are not made that way by accident. Many similar cases have already been recorded in the world, which did not end well. In addition, it is also done to protect the house from burglars. In any case, a 17-year-old resident in an American city called Phoenix, who does not seem to have heard of any of this information. On one beautiful day, she decided to break into her own house by climbing down the chimney while her parents were at the movies. She and her friend really wanted to get inside and the keys were nowhere to be found. As you can guess, soon after the start of this dubious invasion operation, the girl started screaming for help. Alas, she was stuck and could not breathe normally. Rescuers had to wait for about an hour and it took another 40 minutes to save the girl. When she finally got out, all her face and clothes were covered with soot. The moment her parents returned home, they were of course happy with the successful rescue, but they did not hide their indignation about the original idea of their daughter. Toilet floor When watching this video, one question arises in my head. How? But in life, everything happens for a reason. This man, for example, spent the entire evening with his hand stuck in the toilet simply because he dropped his keys there. He couldn't even think of a better way to retrieve them, perhaps draining the water out first? The incident took place in the Chinese city of Zhenzhi and ended with the happy release of the poor fellow. But before that, he had to seriously suffer. It took the rescuer several hours to wait and as you can imagine, the man spent all this time in a terribly uncomfortable position. Fortunately, he only got out with a couple of scratches and a broken toilet. True, the keys were never found, but at least he is in one piece. For poor fellows who find themselves in a similar situation, rescuers are advised to first try something like soap, which is slippery, to release the stuck limb. Wall In movies about prison break or great heist, everything always looks simple. Perfectly thought out plan, the absence of any contingencies, everything goes like clockwork. Unfortunately for offenders and fortunately for us, this rarely happens in life. In one of the Brazilian prisons, Four prisoners conceived a perfect escape plan. They stole a metal pipe from a common shower and decided to use it as an improvised tool, namely to make a huge hole in the wall of their cell with it. Alas, not so huge that everyone could crawl through it. In these photographs, one of the grief fugitives can be seen stuck tightly in the hole. After several unsuccessful attempts to get him out, he was covered with numerous injuries. He began to scream heart-readingly for help. The prison guards who arrived at the scene could hardly contain their laughter. This is clearly visible on their faces and we understand them perfectly. The first prisoner, by the way, managed to successfully escape and even overcome the electrified fence installed along the perimeter of the prison. The worst thing is, however, that the escape happened right on the eve of the official opening of the prison called Ceres. Another funny fact, the prisoner stuck in the wall has already tried to escape from prison two times before. The first time he was caught on the same day. I wonder if he will attempt the third escape, because third time's a charm. Restaurant ventilation. Remember the earlier story of the chimney? So the same principle works with ventilation, but apparently not everybody knows about this either. How else do we explain the fact that this guy spent two days in the ventilation line? We learned about the incident quite by accident. A nearby worker, Igor Campos, overheard screams coming from the roof of a local Chinese restaurant in San Lorenzo. Soon the guy realized that someone was seriously stuck in there and called rescuers. They in turn found a man covered with edible fat in a ventilation pipe in the kitchen, who apparently wanted to get inside to rob them. It took about half an hour to save him. One question, did the cooks in the kitchen not even notice that the vents were extra noisy. Urban sewage Since childhood, we are taught not to get up on the sewer hatches on the street, and for a good reason. If you accidentally get inside the drainage system, the consequences can be very dire. 
First, if you fall, you can hurt yourself quite badly. Secondly, some of the hatches are filled with water, so you literally won't feel the ground beneath you. In such cases, of course, getting out of them becomes much more difficult. Especially if you don't swim. And finally, not all sewers have ladders along which you can get out. And attracting attention in a noisy city is not so easy. One homeless man from the Wilmington area of Los Angeles spent several days in the sewers before being retreated. At least the poor fellow himself thinks so, but it is quite possible that he simply lost track of time. The poor fellow was at a depth of as much as 15 meters underground, so it was completely impossible to get out of there on his own. Interestingly, they took the man out of the hatch, which was a whole block from the place where he was originally heard screaming. The situation turned out to be so difficult that as many as 60 rescuers were sent to the scene. According to the experts themselves, the most difficult thing was to determine exactly where the stuck man was in order to go down and get him.